When I used to play cricket, I was never late. Well, since I've joined politics, I can never be on time. No, no, Turkey will come. Turkey will receive the PM. I don't want to receive the PM. I don't want to receive the PM. I don't want to receive the PM. As a child, I always loved the mountains. You know, when the summer it was boiling hot, we always used to take off. My parents would we'd spend one month of our summer holidays in these mountains, seven to eight thousand feet high. Almost half of the world peaks over 24,000 feet. Half of them are in Pakistan. It's the roof of the world. How do you see the, the future of Pakistan? Are you, are you optimistic? What, what do you feel will happen in the next decade? Well, because the situation is so grim in Pakistan, it has woken people up. So this is where, while it is the worst of times, it's also going to be the best of times. Because as I said before... It is probably the most varied country, you know. It, it, when people talk about Pakistan, they haven't a clue what the country is about. Uh, and unfortunately, the sort of press it gets uh, they want to e know even less about the country. It has the best beaches, which no one knows about, and, and totally isolated, undiscovered. Southern Punjab, cotton growing belt, you have these ancient cities, you have Mohenjo-daro, all the sort of conquerors which came from the north passed through Lahore. So Lahore has a fascinating history. Once Jemima and I went to this village, which was on 11,000 feet, and we came into this paradise, you know, I looked on the one side of the hill, there were red flowers. Then you looked on the other side, there were white flowers. So we went there and then there were steps from the village which led to this um, uh, meadows up there where they only took their animals in the summer, so there was grass. So we were walking up the, to get out to this meadow and this little quaint little village in the, in the mountain. And suddenly we saw a man walk past with a basket. And you know, because it was climbing up and it was quite high, so so Jemima would rest for a while to catch her breath and this man just walked straight up. When we got on top, we looked at the guy and I thought he was a bit old. We asked him, he was 80 years old. And he just with a basket just walked straight up. So people live very long, it's pure, the air is good, the food is clean, there's no pollution there. For me, you know, my heart really lies in these mountains. You know, I'm the first generation Pakistanis in the sense that I was, Pakistan was five years old when I was born. So we really, I grew up with the country and so saw the various uh, ups and downs. You know, there's so many facets to the country. This war on terror is a recent thing. Uh, if we sort our problems out, Pakistan has tremendous potential. 70% of Pakistanis are below the age of 30. And remember, there are 180 million people. I mean, life, has, life goes on as it's always gone on. Each time, you know, you go off the beaten track and you come across a, a, an undiscovered area like once one of the two jeeps we were traveling and broke down. So we had to wait for the other jeep to be fixed. It would have taken 24 hours. So meanwhile, we were waiting there and the guy said, look, why don't you come up to my village? Uh, we came across this ancient city. It was, I mean, at least 2,000 years old. And clearly they lived up there because it was a very, you could be defended, you know, it was like cliffs from all sides. But the fascinating thing was, it was a proper city with cobbled uh, streets and, and you could see where the chief would live. And then there were, you know, a lot of small houses and then there was a water reservoir. And uh, no one knows about it. You know, I checked, I said, Have, has anyone heard of that city? No one seems to have any idea. I thought of taking a metal detector and sort of finding out things there. But anyway, do I need to keep this? Yes. No. Leave it on this. Uh, yeah. Can I take it? It might interfere, wouldn't it? Uh, your book is very critical about the state of Pakistan today and about how it's governed. Uh, would you call Pakistan a failed state?